Hello. Here we are today in my human home that I live in so that we can talk about polar patterns. Microphones are designed to pick up the sounds that we make, but only if you point them the correct way. Today we explore the magical ways our little whisper ones detect secrets on this episode of DKJ Gates. <laughs> Quickly stated, polar patterns indicate the microphone's sensitivity to sound waves arriving from different directions, front, back, and side to side. Polar patterns and microphones are very important to understand. They really can be your friend and help shape the flavor of your recordings. The word polar is used similarly in referring to the poles of the most and least favorite planet, Earth. Every microphone has at least one pickup pattern. I will show you each polar pattern and what it means and discuss potential uses for each and every one. Omnidirectional, meaning it doesn't discriminate. It loves all directions. It picks up everything equally in every direction. Thus, it is a circle. Many condenser microphones have this as a setting. The microphone indicates it with a little circle. It is very useful for good sounding rooms and for getting rid of proximity effect, meaning the unfavorable sound that comes from a voice being too close to a microphone. It's why some mics have a built-in pop filter. Most lavalier mics like this one pinned to my pink and white body are omnidirectional because they're designed to be close to the sound source and still reduce proximity effect. Using an omnidirectional pattern is a lot of fun for drums and other room sounds, but don't be afraid to use it when close miking vocals. It can add a more open flavor given that your room doesn't sound like absolute shit. Cardioid. Named after a heart but shaped like a butt, cardioid patterns are as common as both the ticker and the twerker. The butt crack part is called the null point. This is your SM58. This is your entry level fixed cardioid condenser mics. It's insanely useful as it picks up everything you point it at and does the very best to reject everything in the opposite direction. The only issue one may have with using a cardioid pattern is side rejection. It rejects side bleed all right, but not as well as other patterns. Honestly, don't be afraid to use mics with this pattern way more than you use other patterns. It's as simple as miking gets. Point it at the pretty sounding things and point it away from the bad sounds. Next up, super and hypercardioid. They're very similar, so I will cover them as one. As you can see, the butt is now blowing up a balloon. The goal with either of these is having better side rejection and a more focused front-facing pickup pattern. It's gonna cost you the rear rejection though. You can't always get everything you want, and in this household, we obey the laws of electroacoustics. These are less common, but still useful. You'll see them very commonly on AKG C414s and this microphone, the SE4400, which is better than the 414. Fight me, I don't care. Close the fucking freezer. Bidirectional or figure eight. All ribbon mics are figure eight. The ribbon microphone is named after its ribbon element, which is literally a ribbon. Ribbon, ribbon, ribbon. So the idea is that it has equal access to sound sources from both front and back. Honestly, this is so incredibly useful, especially as a stereo mic or as a stereo pair. Yes, you are picking up equally from the back side, but the mic has amazing side rejection. Honestly, my favorite use is recording someone singing and playing acoustic guitar at the same time. You can point the vocal mic at the voice, but position it so the null point excludes the guitar. Then point the guitar mic so the null point excludes the voice and you have very decent separation and have successfully reduced the bleed. Understanding null points can be as useful as understanding pickup patterns. This white noise keeps us asleep And all of these stupid promises I just can't keep Jason, you're in timeout now. The last one we'll cover today is unidirectional. This is your shotgun mics. The obvious use here is for video, where the mic needs to try and reach out to a sound source and not be visually invasive. This one looks like an upside down crucifix that a birthday clown made. Well, in today's episode with a fun fact, the fun fact being that all microphones are naturally uh, omnidirectional except for figure eight ribbon microphones. It's actually phase cancellation that does the trick. So for example, if you were to take like an SM58, pull the grill off, there's a bunch of little vents and things and that's what makes it 
cardioid is it has all of this, so it's a phase cancellation. So if you take a microphone like this and cover up the physical aspects, then it becomes omnidirectional and cause a lot of feedback issues. So I feel like a Twix right now. Good night, Jason.